fellow gamers, it's Nova Joe back again for another retro weekend. Uh, this time we're going to focus on May the 4th. As you all know, uh, the past couple years they've been doing a, a little thing where they say, May the 4th be with you, where they focus on Star Wars and everything related to Star Wars on May the 4th. So, you know, I thought what a perfect opportunity with uh, tomorrow being May the 4th and, and me having this Star Wars game, I just thought it'd be a great opportunity to... Uh, uh, do a little mini review of this game, show it off to you guys so that y'all can uh, see what Super Star Wars is, those of you who have never seen it. Um, Super Star Wars is a game that was originally released on the Super NES back in 1992. Um, at that time it was pu published by JVC, for those of you who have heard of them. Um, this time it's been published by Disney Interactive since Disney now owns everything uh, related to Star Wars. Uh, anyway guys, this game is your typical side-scroller uh, game where you have uh, many different characters you can play as from the Star Wars universe. You've got, uh, you've got Luke, Chewie, Han, uh, and you go through a side-scrolling level where you have your blasters, you have lightsabers, you can jump, you can do special attacks, uh, you can level up your, your weapons. Uh, as you're seeing on the screen right there, Luke can level up his blaster to where it was shooting out blue orbs. Anyway guys, uh, this game has a lot of great references to the original Star Wars movie. Uh, you fight on Tatooine, you fight the Sarlacc uh, beast uh, monster, um, you, uh, you run through the, and fight the Oh man, I just completely forgot their name. The Sand People. Uh, you get to get inside the Sand Crawler where the Jawas are. So it really does a great job of, of focusing on on Star Wars. It, it's not just slapping on the name, but the people who created this really did a great job of of really doing fan service to everybody. I mean, you've got Han Solo, you've got the Mos Eisley Cantina. Um, now, some of the enemies weren't in the movies, and that's okay, that's to be expected from a lot of these games, uh, because you gotta have boss characters, and sometimes movies don't necessarily produce enough boss characters for a video game. So they have to kinda come up with some things on their own. But um, anyway, this game also spawned two other sequels of Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. In, in this particular one that we're going to look at today, uh, it was it was put, this is Super Star Wars for the PlayStation 4. Uh, it was released not too long ago, and uh, with that release, they added some enhancements to it. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, they've added some Star Wars themed borders, um, and we'll go into the options menu here, I'll show you. Some other things they've done, which is great. All right. So first off, you've got uh, go down here to the display. You can change your borders. You can stretch it to make it look ugly. <laughs> you can give it black borders if you don't want those Star Wars themed ones. Uh, you can shrink it down to a smaller size or expand it a little bit. I like it expanded. You can change the filter. You can make it smooth where it's kind of got that uh, Vaseline haze all over it. Uh, you can put scan lines to make it look like it was, uh, like it's being displayed on a CRT television. And then you can do crisp, which I like crisp, I don't mind. You do see the pixels a bit more, but I, I don't mind. And another great feature of it is that when you're playing in it, you can actually save. Now, I know some of the purists out there are going to be very disheartened by this, and they're not going to be happy to, to know that you can actually save the game. But for those of you who are out there like me, who who just sometimes want to play the game and want to experience everything the game has to offer, it does give you the ability to save your game. So uh, no more worrying about running out of lives or anything like that. You can actually save your game uh, after each level if you want to. You can save it in the middle of the level and then just reload it back up. So that's a great feature. That's a great option that they've given to, to those of us who just want to experience the game. However, if you want to play it like they intended, where you just have a certain amount of lives, a certain amount of continues, and you just play until you die, you have that option too. So uh, it works great for purists, and it works great for those of you who just want to experience the game and have some fun playing some Star Wars. So anyway, guys, this is 
Star Wars, or Super Star Wars for the Super NES, uh, enhanced for the PlayStation 2, or PlayStation 2, excuse me guys, PlayStation 4. Uh, so anyway guys, let's jump in here, take a look at uh, Star Wars, Super Star Wars, and just check out the gameplay. And I am going to be playing on the default difficulty, which is Brave. Let's go ahead and expand this out a little bit. I thought I did, but I messed up. There we go. I got like a little bit bigger. All right, so here we go. We're going to start. And, of course, it opens up with the, the signature text scroll that uh, we're all familiar with, those of us who are Star Wars fans. And so, well, I'm just going to skip on past this part here, because everybody's read it. It's the exact same opening to Star Wars. All right, let's get into the gameplay. You can use your D-pad, use your square button to shoot your blaster with. And like I said, this is on the default difficulty, which is, is brave, so it's like medium difficulty. It does have different difficulties, easy and Jedi. And I'll just say this, brave is extremely difficult. So right now... I have discovered that it is best just to keep running. Just to keep running and not stand still too long. Unless you're running low on health, and then you can do what I just did, and you can refill health. So they do drop power-ups. They drop uh, the little red hearts that fill up your, your power. And you also will find some gun upgrades. Go ahead and clear out some of these. Of course, another one responded, and they're bad about responding. All right, I'm gonna keep going before I get myself killed here. And then I'm gonna kind of hunker down right here. This is a great place to get your health back because these enemies just keep respawning right here. So you can kind of figure out little tricks to get your health back and things of that nature. And I found a little secret over here. Um, let me go ahead and get this gun upgrade. There you go, that's a blaster. You get your blaster upgrade. In later levels, you will get your lightsaber. All right, now right here, I think is where that secret is. I think I gotta kill a certain number of these guys. I just wanna get it because it'll make this fight a whole lot easier. There it is, see right there? All right, now my blaster has turned into a heat-seeking <laughs> bullet-type blaster. But you'll see it comes in very handy here in a minute when I get to the boss. And of course, like I said, this game does take some liberties with the show. Nobody had heat-seeking blasters in the show, but it just, you know, this is a video game. It adds to it, and it makes it a lot more fun because it's just not you using the same weapons over and over again. You actually do get to use some different stuff. And it really helps out with those uh, flying creatures that like to dive bomb you. So yeah, this, and you do get a special attack later on. You can double jump, things of that nature. But uh, just on the first level here, you just get your blaster. coming close to the end here and here's the boss just keep firing that's a sarlacc pit monster as we all know and love kind of wait a second whoa wrong spot joseph almost got him all right there we go that's the first boss all right guys y'all have seen enough of this so guys, that is Super Star Wars. Like I said, this was a Super NES game that they have ported to the PlayStation 4. And uh, it does come with some enhancements, as you'll see right here. I'm going to pause the game. And look there, you got the option to save. So I'm going to click save. And your game is saved. So guys, I just want to tell you, it, I think this game is a great game. I think it's well worth your time, well worth your money. And if you buy it, uh, I'd say tomorrow, I'm going to post this today, which is the third, so it'll be ready for you all on the fourth tomorrow. Um, it is on sale on the PlayStation Network right now for $5.
So guys, I highly recommend going and getting this game. For those of you who love Star Wars, those of you who love platformers, uh, this is a really fun game, guys. It just harkens back to the old days, the, the great old days of the, the Super NES and the Sega Genesis and, and NES, where um, you had all these great platformers. Um, and guys, you can't go wrong for $5 on a Star Wars game. So anyway, guys, check this out. And as always, take care. God bless, and may the fourth be with you.